We have green ants outside our little bunk beds. I'm gonna try to eat one if I can catch one. Let's try to catch that one. Hey! Ah! Got him! <laughs> See? It tastes like a sour key. So there's your survival tip of the day. In Australia, you can eat the green weaver ant. Scientific name, Echophila smerigdina. Now, these ants taste sour because they contain ascorbic acid, vitamin C. And the Australian Aborigines used to use them to flavor their water or for some medicinal purposes. But you don't have to take my word for it that these things taste good. There were other YouTubers there to test taste these ants. Henry? Yes? Something Do you want to eat a green ant? A green ant? Yeah. yeah. Is this a kind of candy? Yeah, it please. Is. Right here. It is. Right yeah, there. Great. You're in a place like Australia, and everything kills you. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I don't, I don't think so. But we only ate them about 20 minutes ago, so they're still. Have you had them before? Even, yeah. There's one. There's one. Yeah. No, I just don't. Henry's got it. And? Nope, it's right here. But eat it, I eat still it, felt it. taste something sour. Mouth. <laughs> you meant to eat the whole thing. I did. Yeah, and? I don't taste anything. <laughs> Okay, so Minute Physics was the exception. I think he might need to get his taste buds checked. <laughs> Are you sure this isn't just like... This isn't this like is drop like bears. the defense mechanism though? No, really. Like that, they just make a weird taste? Acid or right something? When, you, like, when they're about to die. My tongue does feel a little bit like... Mine felt weird too. Like, yeah? yeah? So as it turns out, Henry was right. Although these green weaver ants don't have a stinger, they do have sharp mandibles so they can bite you, and then they spray formic acid into that bite to cause it to be uncomfortable. Now formic acid is what you'd otherwise call methanoic acid. The reason it's called formic acid is because the word formic comes from the Latin formica, which means ants. Now, although formic acid might be a little bit uncomfortable in a cut, it's not really toxic. And we didn't know that anyway, so Mitch from ASAP Science tried another ant. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, oh. <laughs> what, what does it, it taste like for the for the people out there? They're hearing conflicting reports. It just okay. It tastes like sour, like a green sour something. Okay, warheads. War That's hat. it's a warhead. <laughs> Catching green ants. They are quick, but she's got one, and it's in, and it's in. Oh yeah, they're sour. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's super weird. <laughs> but it tastes nice, right? Like, it's not disgusting. Ish. No, it's not horrible. Yeah. yeah. So you'd eat more. <laughs> if you were starving and there was, was nothing starving. else around. I don't, know. I don't know how much I would fill, how quickly they would fill me up. That raises a good question. How many of these ants would you need to eat in order to survive? Well, they're remarkably energy dense. Just a kilogram of ants contains about 5,400 calories. It's not that different from peanut butter. The trouble is, each individual ant only weighs about 5 milligrams, so you would have to eat around 75,000 of them per day in order to get your entire caloric intake from ants. Not something I would want to be trying anytime soon. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, Mmm. Right on the middle of my tongue. That's a delicacy. I'm getting to like them more and more now. But you were saying that this is a good idea. People eating insects. Yeah, absolutely. There's a big push for it in lots of areas of the world because they're so high in protein. And high in got, protein? Yep. And they've got a really low uh, environmental impact as well. So the sort of agricultural problems that we see with cows and with pigs and with other sorts of meats that you don't really get with insects. You don't get them with these guys. In Thailand, weaver ant eggs and larvae are actually a delicacy. They cost about twice as much as good quality beef. But eating is not the only thing these ants are good for. In China, they've been used for nearly 2,000 years to protect their citrus orchards. You see, these ants like to live in trees, and they're quite aggressive, so they fight off any other pests that may come and try to eat the tree's leaves or fruit. But the other thing that weaver ants are known for is their incredible weightlifting capabilities. They can lift 100 times their weight when upside down and clinging to a smooth surface. That is just extraordinary. So if only we could bring weaver ants more into our lives, we would have a more sustainable protein source, a way to reduce the amount of pesticides we're using, and maybe a new little mini weightlifting competition. That's pretty amazing. But it only would work in certain parts of the world because weaver ants are only in Asia and Australia. For example, here, where I am a couple hours from Seattle, you will not find any weaver ants. 
I'm actually in North America for the next couple of months, and I'd love to meet up. In fact, I'm doing a live event in Toronto. It's Buffer Festival, a YouTube film festival. So I'll be hosting an event on Sunday, November 10th with ASAP Science. So if you're in the Toronto area or you can get there, please do come along. Link is in the description. Now, if you can't make it out and you want to support Veritasium anyway, then maybe pick up a Veritasium t-shirt. And thanks to these amazing people who have sent me photos of them wearing Veritasium t-shirts around the world. It is great to see. So thanks everyone for your support. Hopefully I'll see you in Toronto. If not, I will see you next time on the main channel or here. Bye. And if you like ants, you've got to check out the channel of my friend Mikey Bustos. It's a channel called Ants Canada. I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. My tongue does feel funny though. It feels like it's been burnt with acid. I, <laughs> a little I'm bit. about 95% sure that they're the right ants that I thought they were. 95%? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for waiting until now to say. Oh, man. <laughs> no, don't I feel stupid. And then they were